So today we're going to be talking about is art school worth it as part of the series that I'm doing, Coffee Chats with Dawn. I went to school at USC, which is the University of Southern California here in Los Angeles. I went to the School of Fine Arts, which is Roski, and I studied the arts. <laughs> um, it's funny because I have a degree in bachelor, you know, bachelor of arts, um, and I studied like all kinds of arts during college. So you know, like I had to take all the fundamental courses, which was like drawing, illustrations, paintings, um, and that's actually how I ended up discovering the world of graphic design. I took a class on digital tools where I learned how to use like. Illustrator and all those other, you know, Adobe platforms, and I loved it. I'm a graphic designer, um, but I also just like to call myself the one stop shop artist because I do all kinds of designs, not just graphic design. And now I even started doing like art direction and just consulting. My experience at art school, I'm gonna be really honest, was interesting. And I say this because most of my good friends that I made during college were actually not in the art school. Um, and so I have to say I wasn't like the best student, you know, in my art classes. I'm, I'm just being really honest. Like I came in late to a lot of my classes. You know, I had to make up for a lot of my studio time like after class because I would like come in late or just like not be on my A game. I think what's really interesting is although I learned so much about the arts when I was in art school, I don't think I learned too much about what I'm actually doing today. And that's because going into the art school, you know, I thought I was going to be like some painter, like some fine arts person. And so I was really focused on doing like drawings and paintings and illustrations and all of that. And Honestly, like I didn't really have any opportunities to learn about things like graphic design or I mean I did, but not to the extent of what I do, which is, you know, focusing on social media and YouTube and, you know, creating designs for these like newer platforms. I didn't really learn any of that during college. And to be also honest, no one really talks about how to have a successful freelance career which I feel like honestly needs to be taught more and hopefully in the future, you know, a lot of the art schools will start focusing on that career path too because everything I learned now that I think about it was more for people who are wanting to go the traditional art career route, which would have been, you know, going to work at like an art museum or like a gallery or, you know, joining like a really big design agency and kind of working your way up or um, creating art that's going to be used for like big corporations and going that route and no one really taught you how to be a, a one-man team like how to run your own design business um, how to do contracts like that's something I really had to figure out post-college and even as far as just how to talk to people I feel like I didn't really learn that too much the biggest benefit of going to an art school though was that it allowed me to explore so many of the different fields and parts of being an artist. Like I took so many random classes like ranging from photography, you know, painting, drawing. Um, I also took a class on like printmaking and even like ceramics at one point. And it's obviously because, you know, you had, it was required that you explore the different fields of art and you just learn about it. But I think it was really good for me personally because it also helped me figure out what I don't wanna do. <laughs> and as much, you know, I, I have my prints that I made in those classes and I love them. But at the same time, um, you know, I was like, okay, this is probably not something I wanna do like as a career. And I'm happy that I got the chance to explore it. And, also thinking back on it, I think taking that digital tools class um, during college is what also inspired me to go a little bit more towards the digital design side as opposed to something a little bit more physical and traditional. And so I guess I should be thankful for that. I think the benefit of going to university is social skills. That's a big one. And you, you know, just like 
real life, um, university is almost like a mini, smaller microcosm like version of the social life that you're going to encounter after you're done with school. And so for me, like I learned to talk to so many different types of people, so many different kinds of yeah people, whether it's you know people who are doing business, people who are into engineering, people who are like doing real estate, whatever it might be, like it kind of prepares you to be ready to talk to all kinds of people because now that I'm a freelancer, like I have all kinds of clients, right? Like I have people coming from the food industry, coming from like the fashion industry, the beauty industry. Another thing that I really um, am grateful to have learned while going to USC is the ability and the chance to network. For me, like I was always kind of introverted growing up. so. Going to college and like encountering suddenly like a sea of that many people and having to, you know, stand out during class in order to get good grades or having to even speak publicly and having to like talk about other people's artwork. And, you know, it's like it requires a lot of confidence. And I think that was a really big thing that I took away from going to college is it gave me the confidence to just network and just talk to people. When you're an artist or a designer, you, your work is like your outlet, right? How you express yourself. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to verbalize the thoughts or whatever it is that's on your mind. And that was the case for me. And it, I guess it still is to a certain extent. But I think going to college, it really helped me like network with people and learn about what other people are going to be doing in life. And I'm sure, you know, even right now, like as part of my business, I have to work with other types of creators or just people who do like other types of work, such as like web developers or people who are selling certain kinds of products. And I do a lot of business with my friends now, which is really cool. Thanks to networking. <laughs> I think it's really important to actually network with your professors too. That's definitely something I didn't do and I wish I had done more because I think, you know, when you can get the references and the resources that, you know, your professors might have. I remember seeing a lot of my peers getting like internships through their professors that they were really close to or if you like really stand out in class, they might invite you to be a part of this other thing that they're doing after college. So definitely like if you are going to go to college, make the most out of it, network with everybody. It's, it's a big commitment, so you really want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of everything they provide. I know a lot of universities also have those like networks, like online communities where um, a lot of people would or brands or companies would post um, internship and job listings. Um, take full advantage of that too and all the free like education tools that they provide. Um, I know it's easy to overlook those things and you just want to focus on getting good grades and that's it and having fun. But I think looking back at it, those were some things that I wish I would have done a little bit more of. So if you're asking, should I go to university? Should I go to an art school? Is it worth it? Honestly, I think it all comes down to what you make out of it. You know, thinking back on it, I do wish that I tried a little bit harder in some of my art school classes and I wish that I networked a little bit more with like people who are also doing the arts. But that being said, like I also don't regret networking with the people that I did network with because now they are like my lifelong friends and I work with a lot of them. And so for me, I would have to say that it was worth it. But that being said, like if you are just trying to go to university for the sake of freelancing and you just know that's what you want, maybe it's not for you because first of all, it's very costly. Like I feel really bad that, you know, my parents had to dish out so much money to send me to school because I was an international student back then. So and also the time investment, it's a four year long commitment. And if you're so aware of what you want to do in life and you don't need to go through that four-year institution, then just go for it, right? So, I don't know, I think it all comes down to what you make out of it. I think definitely consider going to like an art, um, not like a full-on like university or like an art school, but like a studio. Join like those independent programs where you know they teach you how to paint or they teach you how to, whatever it is that you wanna learn, that's one way. Um, I think the newer, like modern, more modern way to do those things is also just networking with people through social media. Most of my creative friends that I have now are actually people I met 
online. And as weird as that is, it's because it's the easiest way to find people who have similar interests or similar passion as you. And I think when you find people like that, it becomes a lot easier to learn something, right? Like you can just ask them like, hey, can you teach me how to code? And most likely they will help you. And you know, that's, that's like a little bit of a less expensive way to go through something like that. There's a, a lot of YouTube tutorials out there. And obviously there's DLD Academy if you want to learn how to, you know, run your own business. All right. So, you know, thanks for being part of this coffee chats. You know, if you guys want to see more of this, please let me know what other parts of being an artist or a freelancer or even a businesswoman that you want to know about and I'll try my best to answer everything in the most authentic way possible. And yeah, until next time guys, bye!